Yes, Pete, welcome to youtube.com slash Adam McCola. I'm Adam, he's Dean, we are back. This is the start of the World Cup rap kind of thing because the weekend rap's gonna become the World Cup rap. We're gonna be doing loads of content around the World Cup. Do you want watch-alongs? Do you want post-match streams? Do you want, what do you want? Let us know in the comments below. Me and Dean will bring that to you during the World Cup. But for today, we are here to talk about England's World Cup chances and whether we think they can win the World Cup for the first time since 1966. It's been a long, long time. That was 33 years before we were born. So how many years is that 33 plus 29? 62 years, jeez, it's a long time. It's been a long time since England win the World Cup. We're going to say whether we think they can win it this time. But before we get into that, subscribe to Straight Up. Subscribe to Adam McCullough TV. On Straight Up, we've got loads of new content, including one where we talk about Danny Rose as well. So keep it locked for all that. But first things first, let's get into it. Can England win the World Cup, Dean? Can they? Yes. Will they? No. <laughs> so that's just done yeah. here at Adam McCullough TV today. <laughs> Um, I think they can as well, and I, you know what, going into this tournament, I'm not as die-hard England fan as I was when I was a kid, but going into this tournament, there's a lot more goodwill from me for this team yeah, yeah. than there has been for many a time since 98, mm. 2002-ish. Mm. Yeah. Um, I feel like I can get behind this team, I like where they are going, I like what Gareth Southgate is doing, even mm. if I don't really like him as a character. Yeah. Like, but I feel like this England team is definitely, if they don't, you know, win it, they're going to definitely show signs of progression mm. in the tournament. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think that's the best thing because the last tournament, not mm. that by Iceland, yes. all that stuff was kind of like, I didn't think it could get worse after Steve McLaren and the Broly stuff. Mm. And it got worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, I just feel like there's a lot more goodwill around this team at the moment. Yeah, I think... Me personally, I'm, I've never. I was bored of England a while ago, to be honest. Like, you know, the way they play, etc. Like, I thought I was kind of baffled after, even as much as people didn't like Spin, I thought you got results. And then, ever since then, I just think it's just been awful entertainment wise. But to be fair, when I've seen him on the Southgate, he's, to me, he's like, at least he's got a set way of playing and he's like, he wants to play football. And to me, just as a, as a, as entertainment, as a fan or whatever, like, that's what I like to see more of. And when I have seen them, to be fair, they have looked alright. And it's like, I'm kind of with, you, where you, uh, what, with what you're saying in terms of I think that there is a bit more goodwill now and, and so much now that because there isn't as many say big stars as what we've previously had your Beckhams, your Gerrard, your Lampards etc, your Michael Owens, Rooney's, we haven't got that generation anymore, your real Fernandes and it's like now we're looking at Raheem Sterling, maybe Dele Alli, Harry Kane, uh, Jess Lingard, yeah, England's uh, number seven, <laughs> yeah, it's, just a, it's mad, big day still, but even that like I'm saying like could you have said a couple of years ago that Lingard would be number seven going into a World Cup? I wouldn't have predicted that. I predicted a lot of things for Lingard, but I wouldn't have predicted that. Um, and I think it shows a sign of his progression. Uh, but it also shows, like what you say, that maybe England don't have as many star names as they once had. They do have a lot of potential star names. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, which is a great thing. And I think Gareth Southgate, having been working with a lot of these players at under 21 mm. level, yeah, was it? Yeah, yeah. That he was involved in. Like, I used to love watching the 21s mm. for England. Mm. Like, they used to always be entertaining, play yeah. good football. I remember watching a penalty shootout that was like 16 16 or something like that um, in one tournament. And England's 21s were always good to watch. Mm. And I feel like he's bringing that attitude where they want to play football, they have that confidence too. Because mm. um, a lot of players were burned by past tournaments, weren't they, where they had that mentality that, oh, if I mess up here. Yeah, ruin your career, man. Like it didn't. Like I say, we was talking about before with Beckham. Like, it potentially ruined his career. He, like he was able to turn. If he didn't have Fergie around, he potentially mm -hmm. could have been. Even um, Ronaldo, Cristiano Ronaldo, like he was hated. You know, when he come back from the Euros. Again, like he still a lot of people don't like him because of how good he is. But he's like he was. Um, he had a lot of pressure when he first come back from the Euros, for example. And again, like I think players are aware of that. It can impact them their marketability. If you like, if you. If you um, cost England to go out, look, look at what they did to carry us at Liverpool. Yeah, you've heard, I, I've read, I don't know if it's true, so excuse me if it's if I've read fake news, but I heard his missus left him because of that. <laughs> like all the death threats that she received yeah, and stuff yeah. like that. Now that could have been something where they've said they've split up, so she starts yeah, receiving yeah, yeah. death threats, you know what I mean? But like, 
if it has come to that, like it just shows you the incredible amount of pressure these lot are under. And then when it comes to England, it just gets magnified. Mm. And it's mad to me because a lot of these players will play for clubs that win trophies more regularly than England yeah, yeah, yeah. and have that expectancy to win trophies mm. more regularly than England. Mm. So then why does it fall apart? I remember Rio mentioned the club thing where everyone was kind of split mm. up yeah. and I get that. But why does it stop? There seems to be that block with England. I just want to think if, you, if you're not, if you're not pals with these people and or there's so much division between the squad. Like I don't think when you come together as much as you have good names on a team sheet, a team is effectively a, is a collection of, of single pieces and, and it's like as much as I think the individually the pieces previously was, was probably greater than now, I just think the collection of the, the sum of the team now sort of thing, I think he's probably better with arguably a weaker squad, isn't it? Mm. That's how I kind of see it. Like, I think the squad's in better shape than it was going into the last year rolls. Was it yeah. Up by Iceland? Yeah, may, yeah, maybe. But again, I think there's no. I think individually, I think you could argue previously there was better players, but it's like now. Mm. I think this. Like I say, they kind of they do kind of look more of it as a team. But the one thing with England though is they always like get ten nine wins in group stages. Yeah, it's bad, but it's, it's like it's like it's hard to judge. You're top seed, and so you're the best team. In, like mm. usually, you're gonna be your the top or the second best team in your thing. So. It's not that hard to do it. Like I think if you're a good, good team, and obviously, like I'm even on paper, like you can just have individuals win your games. What has to be the target for England? Then? If you if you don't feel, obviously we don't think they're gonna. I think win. you have to be realistic, and I think you get six, like six, like if you get out of groups, and I think to be honest, you kind of have to be happy that with what we've previously. They have to get out of the group. Mm. The only challenge in the group, Belgium, really, got Panama and uh, Tunisia. Mm. So Panama Tunisia should be six points, yeah. Should be. No, it should. No, it should be it six should points. Be. So England should be going through the Belgium games last as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that will decide who you probably. Be. You'd like to think that will decide who's top of the group. Um, but stranger things have happened. Mm, how do you guard against that complacency, and how do you think England should approach this? Well, I think you should be going to it. Like really, the only people who should be challenging us is Belgium. But I think you'd still. We have to look to slap the first team, really, innit? We can't be looking to just grind out a 1 0 win. I think you just want, me personally, I just want, you just want three points, innit? Like, so, as much as you want to play well, you need to just get the three points. Because if you draw, if you start slow, and it can happen in a World Cup, you remember, like, back in the, I think it's 2002, again, not when France, uh, I think they lost to Senegal. And yeah, then, yeah. And obviously, they ended up getting knocked out. It's like, you can just start slow, innit? Like, you could just start slow. And then, if you get a draw in the first game, the pressure's on, because now you basically have to get a result against Belgium, and we. That's the only thing where I wouldn't want to do is you don't want to be in that position where you rely on a resort against Belgium to mm. get out of the group. I, I'm confident that we won't. Um, is that thing? Yeah, I don't like. If someone asks me, do you support? Do you, do you support England? I'll be like, nah, I don't really follow international football. Mm. I'm always out here calling us we. Um, I suppose it's just something. As soon as that World Cup comes around, you're like mm. active. Like, okay, let's do this yeah, a yeah. little bit in it. Like, mm. want them to do well. Uh, we got in the, in the World Cup, by the way. We're doing fan cams and stuff like that for straight up and I'm gonna be like I think we've got to interview Jeff Hurst we've got some stuff on a Budweiser boat me and Dean are gonna be out here doing grafting for straight up and out of McCullough TV so make sure you keep it like during the World Cup um, so we don't think England's gonna win it where are they gonna finish? probably quarterfinals I reckon like. I think so as well you Last can't. 16 quarterfinals. But you could get a really good draw in it. Mm. You could get a good draw. It's a, well, it's, and it's a 90 minute game, and it's like, what it needs is like an opposition to get a player sent off or early penalty for us. Or... But it's mad because if you finish second, you're getting one at the top of the group. Mm. So then it's like, all right, you might have got three, but you've got a difficult game now. But yeah, but sometimes it can work where, like, you know, like where you win the group and it's like, in someone else's group, a team starts. Yeah. Well, maybe yeah. The best team actually came second. So yeah, yeah. you know, yeah, you yeah. just you can only beat what's put in front of you. And I think that you just you just got to go out and obviously just try and like I think tactically if you can anyone can do a tactical masterclass against someone else and I think that's kind of what we need as well. We need to be like outsmarting these double teams or looking at something that maybe they end and just beating them because uh, we was better set up than them or I think that's quite, like if you're not as good at it like you need that's what I think we need to do and I think if you get to the quarters obviously you can go. Anywhere from there, because anything can happen. So just ninety minute football. Because someone could score an absolute scream and like you know them ones like in a game where you're not expected to win or so there is there is positives there. I just hope that the 
they play positively and that's yeah, that's what we can't we can't be trying to play like other teams and trying to see games that we just got to play Premier League football mm. play Premier League football and these players will play well I think mm. um, and I, I reckon England's player of the tournament is going to be Jesse Lingard you think? Mm. I'm just saying it here what do you think he's gonna I reckon he bags first game mm. he's had that kind of season yeah, yeah, yeah. you know he does it like to me. He's one of the better players. So for him, he has to start. There's no yeah, way Delhi. Yeah. I think start he suggested with the squad numbers, and he's yeah. kind of suggested that it's like he'll start. Mm, which so, is good. Who's winning the World Cup then? For me, it's Germany. But I don't think obviously it's a difficult one because obviously I don't like no one's won it back to back. I don't think since Brazil, but their team just look, they they can leave out Sane. I don't know, like how are you the man are able to leave out Sane with a calm face. Like France left out Marshall, uh, Germany left out Sane, England taken Danny Welbeck. Everyone hates on Welbeck. I don't hate on him. Oh, come on. But he did break my heart a little bit. Yeah, no. Nah, just putting it out there. But he's, he's a good he's, he's, player. He's, he's, yeah, the athletic though, he's like, he can change a game. Like One know. thing about him, he's like, remember when like Fergie put him in CDM against yeah, Real Madrid? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <that's, laughs> that's what I did, that's what I did, that's what I that was away from home. Yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah, he, 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 I love you, Danny. Yeah, well, but a big I see it's shame who plays for the Gunners, but but it is still funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Marshall and Sane at home. Like, that's what I'm saying. So they can leave Sane at home. Like, are you crazy? Like, I need to see who they're playing on the left. I, I wanted France to do well because I thought, oh, they're gonna have Pogba and Marshall. And now they just think, nah, forget it. They booed Pogba and they haven't got Marshall. So. But I get, like, again, it's a different thing, but it's like, people get onto Mourinho because he do not play Marshall and it's like, your man ain't even picked him. And I don't that's know if that's because he he's saying he's, <laughs> but he's still better than some of the players that they've He's better than Lamar, he's better than a few others. That's so. what I'm saying, like, I don't know, like, Pogba's, he's getting a bit of, he's getting a bit of grief as well. Like, again, like, Joel's in the crowd, I think. <laughs> Yeah, everyone just like, I don't even, like it being, and for me personally, again, it's like, if you look at it, like going into the World Cup, it's like, players like Pogba, this needs to kind of, this can be like, what make makes you, you know, them was like where, if you just drag France to where they need to be, because their squad is nuts. Like I said, they're able to leave out Martial, like they got a, they got a deep squad, so you could just drag them to the World Cup, innit? Like, mm. And then the, what does that set you up then for your season with United, if you just say, and it can happen? Like, I think Spain are lacking a little bit. But I think the hair could, if he has a stormer of a tournament, he could mm. be the difference for them. Yeah. I remember when they won the World Cup last, they scored eight goals. Mm. So they didn't, like, when you look at their team now, you think, have they really got that? I know they got Diego Costa. Mm. Have they really got that striker though that's going to win it for them? I don't think so. But then you think, they scored eight goals in the one in the last yeah, time. Yeah. Like, you don't really need to score that many goals for the World Cup. So I think. Brazil. Brazil. We've seen back to back Champions Leagues. And now we're going to. What about Argentina, Portugal with the whole Ronaldo Messi thing? What do you think they've got? Because this is their last World Cup you'd like to. Well, you probably. Well, I don't think, I, Ronaldo doesn't have to do it. He won them in the Euros, so. I think, like, obviously, he'd like to win. I don't think his team's good enough. Um, Argentina's, on the other hand. Do you think like, he's good enough anymore to be able to carry them to the World Cup? Nah. The Irish, like, those. It was part oh, of it. Was, they were struggling. They were struggling in the Euros, and it's in the World Cup. I just think it's a different kettle of fish. And I think. What about Argentina? They've got a, they've got a tough squad. They have to be honest. But again, I think it's are they good enough as a team? Like the. That's where it's league. always gone wrong for them, mm. and their defense didn't they get clapped like six, seven goals past them against someone recently? Mm, I think um, so. Like, Rojo and Otamendi in the middle, and mm. Romero's injured. So he's, I don't think he's going to the World Cup. Yeah, so they've lost their first choice goalkeeper. Um, it's it's is it do you, do you do you buy into that stuff that Messi has to do something at international mm-hmm. level? I don't personally because I think the pinnacle of football is Champions League. I don't think the World Cup yeah. is the pinnacle because I think the Champions League is harder to win personally. Mm-hmm. I think, well, I think again you've got more of a concentration of the best players and the best teams, and mm-hmm. whereas in internationally you do have a lot of good players. In you the have a lot, team, there's about sixteen teams that are full of duds. Mm. In it, you should, yeah, yeah, yeah. let's put honest like mm. Saudi Arabia, Iran, they're not they wouldn't get in the Champions League. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that's, that's what I think the Champions League is the pinnacle. I think mm. the only reason people even, say the world is the, the world yeah. because it's everyone's watching it. But even then like the Euros are for 
uh, like the level of team, I think the Euros is more condensed in terms of better teams. Mm-hmm. Like there's a lot of teams in this who just get lucky, like so they'll just get brushed aside. But obviously that's why it's like the latter round. That's why England, like I say, England can half, we could half get there, say. Because Cause if a few big teams have a bad tournament, mm-hmm. you oh. never know, you get to the quarters in England, they were like third favourites or something. You never mm-hmm. know what's going to go down, innit? So when you're um, injury, there's going to be players getting injured for Here's us getting ourselves hyped for the England yes. win, you know. I oh, would never have thought it. Um, that's what our thoughts are anyway. So we don't think England are going to win the World Cup, but we do think they'll have a good tournament. And we think, um, I think Brazil, you think Germany. Get your predictions in the comments below. Um, who will be England's player of the tournament as well? I'm saying Jesse Lingard, you're saying um, Raheem? Um, yeah, I would say Raheem Sterling too. I wouldn't mind that, you know. And I hate that the press have done this to me. Got me all in Raheem's corner back. No, I said, I said it before this one, man. Watch him get sent off in the first game. <laughs> <laughs> and then the effigies will be out. <laughs> yeah, 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 sure, sure. No, no, Raheem, I, hope, like, I think he'll have a good tournament in it. So. Keep it locked, guys. Make sure you like and share and subscribe. We're out of here.